Hey everyone, Philosopher Stoner 666 here. I just wanted to make a response video to a TED talk that I recently watched um, where the speaker was going on about euthanasia and end of life choices. Now, I would say I agree with about 75% of this video um, where he gets into things like despite the growth of technology and medical care, everyone in the 21st century will die. And he's like, you know, it was funny because he's like, yeah, that's going to piss a lot of people off. And just how there is a certain denial of death and very few people want to have the conversation about how they die. And he talks about um, the story of this old man. And the fact is the, the, the family of this old man never had a conversation about when he was, how, how, when and how he was going to die. And, you know, it was very moving, all that sort of stuff. But he made a few comments at the end of his presentation that sort of annoyed me. He was like, if we allow, give people more options and discuss this, it'll sort of take the fuel out of euthanasia. He's like, oh, it's only 1% of uh, people or so that ever commit suicide by using Nebutal and these other drugs of assisted suicide, you know, where you can get um, the magic bullet cocktail or the cyanide capsule and just end it um, quickly, peacefully, uh, with dignity, with a little bit of, of class and grace. And he's like just so dismissive of it and saying that allowing, uh, having these other options will take it out. Well, well you know, uh, or take away, you know, the fuel from having assisted suicide. And to me, again, it's just this arrogance of, well, why should you be allowed to make the choice for me when it's my own volition and my own choice to make? Um, I mean, again, it's not everyone's going to do it. I, it is certainly going to be a minority position. But so what? If we're going to allow people to have more options and more choices, why shouldn't euthanasia be on the table? What, because you don't like it? Because it bothers you? Um, so just, you know, not that it's completely relevant, but I'll go into a little bit of my own um, personality. Uh, I don't want to go into too many details, but I have had many instances, even fairly recently, a couple of months ago, where I have thought about suicide. I thought about it a great deal. Um, I don't share this information with anyone in my family or anyone that knows me uh, because it's always the same old nonsense that they want me to, they would want me to go see a psychiatrist and they would want to try and fix me um, somehow. Um, I've had these thoughts, but the truth is at the end of the day, I'm afraid of dying I, and I'm too chicken shit to do it. But it never fails when I'm walking or when I'm walking across a bridge or um, anything like that, or when I see guns, or when anything like that, that I think about it. Um, I think about it. I've had periods, nine starting like nine months ago, where just like I look forward to going to sleep and depressing stuff like that. And my depression comes and goes. Um, even in my name, philosopher stoner, uh, you know, it, it'll go away if I say I smoke a joint or something, and then it's I snap out of it for you know, week-long, month-long periods, but then it always, it always happens where I think about it. So I'm sort of in inaction, but I know at a certain point um, things could get bad enough and they will get bad enough where I'm gonna wanna go, um, where I'm gonna be like, nah, you know, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't take uh, my existential angst and all this other bullshit. And quite frankly, who are you or anybody to decide that that's wrong when it is my choice? Um, it just really bothers me that these TED Talks try to seem like they're so enlightened when I always I find them always to be have a certain sort of pompous arrogance to them. It's like the enlightened intelligentsia sort of preaching to the masses and they're just trying to look for a way to make a buck off of something. I, I don't know, I always did, I, 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 I don't know where, where I'm going because it's not really a valid uh, philosophical criticism, but I always found like a sort of element of of douchiness, of pretentiousness in these things, but your the TED Talks are like one of the few rational vehicles for having a real conversation about important issues. Um, it's not not happening on other channels on YouTube or on the internet, so you know I, I can say it's a valuable conversation to be had. 
but it just like it just annoys me that uh, people can get you know three quarters of the way to the truth and then just say these annoying stupid things where they don't have an argument it's just their own preference it's just their own bias and their own fear of death and they want to make it so that everybody goes along with their game because if they start seeing that a lot of people out there if you gave them an easy way to go out if you gave them a cyanide capsule or a nebutal they would end it they would go but the other ways for anybody with any sort of self-respect um, they're not gonna want to you know blow their their, their 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 head off with a shotgun or a, a pistol or something like that they're it's too too much anxiety and too much pressure and it's too much of a burden on other people I'm you know I don't want to make a mess for other people to clean up all that sort of stuff you know, and just, yeah, these enlightened, so-called enlightened intellectuals, they get there and, you know, then, then they just got to say some annoying comments. Anyway, it's not the best video I've ever made, but I think it'll suffice. Philosopher Stoner 666 out.